Hello Triggers and welcome back. Today we're going to look at a tutorial that I found from a dude called, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name now, Matt Bilecci, who uh, did a very nice tutorial for foliage and how to make it, you know, look way better with actually not so much work. And all the credit goes to him. I am merely going to go through the tutorial and show you guys the results inside Unreal Engine. And it's very easy. So uh, let's get to it. So here we are inside of Maya. I've dragged in a foliage I took down from Megascans just to, you know, make it a little bit easier to demonstrate this. And the whole idea behind this method is to make sure that the vertex normals aren't all facing the same direction. When the vertex normals are all facing the same directions and the light comes, let's say, upwards down or from a side angle, it kind of looks flat because the, it, the vertex normals kind of decide how to absorb light and how it fades out across the model. And if they all face in the same direction, you won't get that nice gradient type of color fade that you probably want for all your foliage. So an easy way to actually uh, look at this is to go to display, polygons and vertex normals. And as you see with this, they're all kind of facing upwards. Now this isn't of course ideal and what we what we'd want to do is to make them kind of face different directions so we can get that nice fading look. And that's what the tutorial actually shows. Now I'm going to do the simple step, the simplest step of the tutorial and I'm just going to use a, a sphere over here. I'm going to make this bigger. And it might sound a little bit confusing now, but trust me when I show you the results inside of Unreal Engine, it will all start to make sense. So bear with me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the lower part. I am going to place the pivot point in the bottom. And then right now, just to make it easier, the idea is that you kind of encapsulate the entire mesh. Not as I'm doing right now, because as you see right now, it's way too big for the actual mesh on the inside. So I'm just gonna scale it down and kind of find a sweet spot where I get a lot of the parts, like so. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because again, I am demonstrating. And what we're doing now is that we are going to transfer the directions of the normals using this sphere here. And as you see, the sphere kind of goes around like this, making it so that when we transfer the vertex normal directions onto the foliage, the vertex normals won't all just face upwards, but it will, just like it's curved, face different type of directions. Of course, I, I'm going to demonstrate this. So if you look at this right now, you can see that all the vertex normals are pretty much just facing upwards. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to select the sphere. We're going to select the foliage. We're going to go down to mesh and click the little box in transfer attributes. We don't want the vertex positions. We want the vertex normals. We don't need the UV sets or color sets and we wanted to adjust to the world. That is pretty much it. And then you press transfer or apply, whichever you want to do. And as you see right here, I'm gonna just control Z, look at the uh, direction of the vertex normals. You can see that they shift. This makes it so that when light comes in, it doesn't automatically just make it flat, but actually gives you a very nice gradient. But to further demonstrate this, I am simply going to jump into Unreal Engine and show you how it actually looks within the actual engine. All right, so here we are within Unreal Engine. So what I've gone and done is that I've just opened up one of the scenes I've had from before where I'm just, you know, I'm trying out different stuff. I'm just trying out my cell shading here. So you can just completely ignore those. And the focus we have are these four things over here. Now the setup of the material, I'm just gonna open up the material to show you that I have not, I've not done anything fancy at all. It's just a simple no, um, base color to base color, roughness to roughness, et cetera, et cetera. I haven't even you know, drawn up the values, 
but you know with constants or multiplied anything this is the simplest setup you can possibly do and that is exactly what i've done so there's no magic within the actual material itself and to demonstrate how the light actually fades and looks on your model i've placed a point light just above it pretty close so we can check how it looks when light comes directly from above and then i've done a spotlight over here that comes in from an angle so you can kind of get a better understanding on how it looks so first i'm going to press g to actually remove all of the icons and then i'm going to make the screen bigger and then we're just going to observe now i'm going to start with this one over here and lower the camera speed so i don't jitter all over the place if you look at this one over here, you can see that all of the color is kind of flat on top of it. It it looks pretty white and it doesn't really give you that nice, you know, uh, gradient type of feeling that you would kind of expect from foliage. Whereas if you look at this one, you can see that it gets darker towards the, the uh, well uh towards the ends and you know lighter towards where the the light actually hits it and you can see that it has a nice type of fading shadow towards the bottom as well whereas this one more specifically if you want a specific point to look at you can look at this branch right here you can see that it's very white and it's very blown up whereas this one it has a nice gradient fading to it now, this might not sound like the biggest thing ever, but imagine that you will have a bunch of these out there with grass and different types of bushes and everything all together will make... It's the difference between a very nice scene and a poorly done scene. To further demonstrate this, we can look at this one as well. This has a spotlight right here that just comes down from an angle. You can see that this one... Even though it's blown up right here, with perp with a, of course I've done it on purpose. You can see that it kind of fades towards the backside of it all, so it actually gives you a ni nice fading feeling. Well, if you look at the original one, that I have it all facing upwards. You can see that it's just it's just white and dull. It doesn't really give us any type of information. So let's say that. Should we try playing? Yeah, let's try playing. So if I start with this character right here, you can see that even from the character, we can still see that the one to the left has a nice shaded feeling to it, whereas the one to the right just looks overexposed and blown up. And again, you're not supposed to only have one of these plants. You're supposed to have a bunch of them everywhere. And with post-processing and everything and lights coming in different directions, you want the foliage to work with you and not against you. And this is a very easy way to do. And the tutorial is actually a really nice starting point for it. And imagine I did the bare minimum right now. You could do way more than this and everything is in that tutorial. Of course, down in the description, go show that guy some love because this is amazing. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.